Greetings presentation parishioners. Blessings of November. Can you believe it's November? I hope your November is going well, that you had a beautiful All Saints Day and All Souls Day as we uh, kick off the month. Remember that November is a special time of year when we in the church remember all those who have died, especially those who have died this past year. We'll be having our Remembrance Masses this Sunday at the 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Masses. So we'll be welcoming family members and visitors who are remembering those who died this past year from our parish, but also other parishioners who are mourning the loss of a loved one this past year. So we'll be welcoming people, so make that a welcoming environment for them as we hold everyone in prayer, especially those who have lost loved ones. Also remember, throughout the month of November, we have our Book of Remembrance that is placed by the baptismal font. As you come and go from church, uh, say a prayer for all those names listed in the book, but also you're welcome to place the name of any of your deceased loved ones in our Book of Remembrance as we hold them in prayer throughout the month. Also this weekend at all our masses, we'll be remembering all those listed on our All Souls envelopes. So if you'd like to have them included in the procession and the prayers at mass, uh, you please uh, get those dropped off at the office today or make sure you hand them in before you come to mass so they get, can get placed properly in the basket coming forth at masses. Also, a couple of things going on in our diocese that we're gonna be taking part in. This weekend, we're going to have a special second collection uh, that our bishop has asked all the parishes of our diocese to take up. I'm gonna just read a part of the letter that he sent earlier this week. There will be 50 to 100 immigrants and refugees from El Paso, Texas, coming to our diocese through Annunciation House, which is a Catholic nonprofit down there in Texas. Now, these individuals have already been screened and processed and are now looking for help uh, getting on their feet and establishing a life. So some of them will be coming uh, to our city. So we've been asked to take up a special second collection this weekend, along with all the other parishes in our diocese. So please come prepared for that. Uh, you'll just have to uh, you know, make out the check to presentation and we'll forward all of that. But we'll be helping those who, uh, who are coming into our country in the appropriate ways and are looking to you know, better, have, for a better life, especially for their families. So this is an opportunity for us to help them out. There will be ways in the future that we can also help out. So our parish will be taking part in things in the upcoming months. Uh, so we'll keep you posted in some ways that we can directly help specific families who are coming here to our city. Also, uh, remember that Tuesday is election day. So all of us should uh, exercise our right to vote. Uh, remember that you know we, especially in our church, encourage people to have an informed conscience. There's all kinds of information you can find out there about being a faithful citizen. You can find it on our website, uh, Forming Consciences, Faithful Citizens. It's on the Adult Faith tab of our website. You can also go to the usccb.org website and find out ways that you can stay informed uh, as you prepare to vote. Remember, let's uh, just say a prayer for our country though, that this voting can be peaceful, that people can respect each other as we go forth to the, uh, the polls on Tuesday, and that we truly do elect officials who are going to work for the good of all, and, and especially uh, you know, people who are going to uh, support the most vulnerable among us. So let's uh, go out there and vote, exercise that right, but let's pray for peace, especially in our country as this happens. Also remember that throughout the month, of November in these upcoming weeks. We'll be do continuing our stewardship renewal. You should be receiving your stewardship renewal mailing. This is a time for all of us to really reflect on ways we're being called to share our gifts. So look at those resources that you'll be uh, receiving in the mail and take some time to commit yourself to that life of stewardship. Remember our theme this year is just disciple. So we're all called to be disciples. We're all disciples of Jesus. So these are ways that we can use our gifts to really bring forth that presence of Christ and share a Christ's love with others. Also remember this weekend, before you go to bed on Saturday night, set your clock back an hour. It's daylight savings time. So we get to have an extra hour of sleep. I think that's all changing next year, but we will be doing that this weekend. If nothing else, if you forget, you'll be early for mass. That's not so bad. But uh, set your clock back an hour before you go to bed uh, Saturday night. But have a blessed weekend. Look forward to seeing you at mass. God bless you all. Amen.